Hey everyone, I'm here with another foundation review. This is Benefit's Hello Flawless Oil Free SPF 25 Oxygen Wow Brightening Makeup. First off, I really, really, really like this foundation. I've been wanting to try it for a while and I finally got it in a swap on Makeup Alley. So I'm very happy with that. It's only the deluxe size, but I was fine with that because I just wanted to give the product a try before I purchased it. And this is something that I'm actually considering purchasing. I love the little pump on here. It's a really nice foundation. It's a brightening makeup and it really does brighten up your face. I've been wearing it to work for the past week. It covers well. I would say this is a nice medium coverage foundation because it covers, if I have small blemishes, things like that, I don't need concealer because this does a really good job of covering. The shade that I have is Warm Me Up Toasted Beige, which happens to be the perfect match. Some foundations that I've tried before, the match hasn't been that great and it's actually to the point where there's some foundation lines and things like that. With this foundation, it's so spot on that I don't have any lines. You can't even see where I have it on. It looks like my skin, only better and more polished. A natural look, which is exactly what I'm looking for. It's nice for dry skin, normal to dry skin, mature, aging skin. The only complaint I have is sometimes throughout the day, well this only happened twice, I do get a little bit oily around this area here and around my nose. And I can use my powder that I love, the MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powder. I sometimes touch up with that or just blotting papers, but lately it hasn't been doing that, which is great. I do set this with my MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powder. Now, the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation that I love, I love it. I will be purchasing that when I get paid this week. That one, I don't get oily at all. It's a nice matte coverage. It's a little bit more fuller coverage, but on everyday basis, I don't need something that full of a coverage. This would be nice to have. I don't set the other foundation with the powder, but this one I use my MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powder in Medium Dark. They work well together. I just like that combination, and I've been using the Benefits Bella Bomba Blush. I love it. I do have it on now. You might not be able to see because of my lighting. And I love this blush because certain blushes, it looks like you just have blush packed on and you could see it on the skin. This blush, it's like it melts into the skin so it looks like a natural flush to the cheeks. And it doesn't look like your face is piled up with blush. It just looks like your face only blushing, adding a nice color to wake it up. It's hard to describe, but the way Benefits powders are, they're very natural looking. That one does have shimmer in it, and I read a lot of reviews complaining about the shimmer. I don't have a problem with that because the shimmers don't really show up on your face. I use my EcoTools powder brush. I don't use the brush that it came with. So, all in all, I like this product. If you do have more oily skin, you might not like it, but if your skin is on the drier side, you'll love this foundation. It's nice for winter because I know that's when my skin tends to get drier or more dry. And it's just really nice everyday makeup. So I recommend this. I give it a 4 out of 5. The pump is nice. And that's all I have to say about this product is I recommend it. I suggest trying a sample at a Benefit counter or Sephora first to make sure that you get a color match. And go ahead and try this foundation out. 